Ken. Daniel. You all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure everything's fine. You sure? I'm calling the doctor. Daniel, you're overreacting. She's fine. Mom, she's pregnant. Come on, Leo. Sorry, Victoria, I didn't want you to find out this way, but you're going to be a grandmother. Thanks again for coming to Dr. Rosen's with me. Of course. Oh, my God, Daniel, look. How did they find out we were here? This is impossible. We only told your mother. I can't believe her. Oh, just, just put the top on. What the hell is wrong with you? I told you we wanted to keep the pregnancy news quiet, and you leaked it anyway. And for what? And not another shot at Emily? I did nothing of the sort. And what makes you so certain that she wasn't behind it? Come on. What possible reason could she have? To make certain that you marry her and not leave for Sarah? What? You told Emily? You're damn right I did. You are marrying one girl, and you're in love with another no, Daniel. No, you don't know a damn thing about who I love. I think I do, and so does Emily. And that's why she trapped you into this pregnancy. You completely vision. lost your mind. You know that. Listen to me. She is a con artist. She is going Daniel. to be my wife. Whether you like it or not, you know why? Because she is giving me the opportunity to raise a child the right way, in a loving home. Not with a loveless marriage. Oh, Daniel, open your Stop. eyes! She Enough. can just save you from that one! This time tomorrow, Emily and I will be married. You lost. Okay, it's over. I want this marriage to be about family. Past, present, Future. Don't worry, it's cider. <laughs> to ties that bind us. I thought I'd bring you a real drink. Since I suspect you're about as pregnant as I am. You know, for once, you're not completely mad, Victoria. Daniel needed a little last minute incentive, so I stole from the master manipulator. After all, isn't a fake pregnancy how you landed Conrad? Well, the difference is that I believed I loved him. 